Now, I think what you can say to Kramer is, the president's asked me and Dirksen about withholding another $400 million. He can withhold it. You can't do a damn thing about it. You can pass a resolution through this house telling him not to, and he'll veto the living hell out of it. And we're a hell of a poor people to be talking about withholding expenditures, and then when he withholds some, we make him cancel them. Now, I'll get him not to take this other action, and I'll get it released for you as soon as the year's over uh, at a reasonable time, maybe August, September, somewhere along that, where we could use it. But let's don't get this thing in partisan politics. If you... Let me ask you. I understand. Yeah. You, you earmarked or set aside four hundred million. Right, that's right. We withheld that at the range. Right, and uh, you have right. contemplated or discussed the possibility of another four. Right, that's right. And I've told them and announced publicly that we're considering it, but we have not done it. So that there. That's what really stirred up the opposition when they heard the second withholding. Now, do I understand that uh, even though you've discussed it and so forth? are going to let that go out or I, I, I would I would just forget it and cancel it and, and let it go on out if I did, if I could buy them off and, <laughs> and, but you would stand firm on the 400 that's, that we all discussed that's right until uh, till we decided that we could release it and I'll be glad to talk to you about it uh, whenever you you get to hurt whenever we need some jobs whenever we need to release it I'm not uh, all I want to do is for the economy, period. Well, let me talk to Bill Kramer. That's right, and talk to Ev Dirksen, and let's get this hearing over in the Senate stopped. And what I will do, I'll take no action on impounding the other 400. If they challenge me and want them running the ground, I can damn easily do it, and I don't believe you can whip between now and June 30th. I don't want to, but uh, I just want to help the economy. And I honestly think, I honestly think that... Uh, uh, that uh, we ought to hold it a little while longer, but we ought to release some of the housing. Then road ought to come right after it. I think you kind of ought to do it by priorities. I think the soldiers are entitled to theirs, and I released $600 million because we've held it 18 months. Now I'm, I'm going to release some of the housing sometime in the spring. Then I'm willing to go along with the roads. Can I talk to you about another matter? Yes, sir, anything you want to, any time. Matter of fact, I resent a little bit. You don't call me up. Well, uh, you beat Charlie Halleck, he used to call me. Dirksen calls me every week about something. I think we ought to get along better. I am not. I don't mind you having all the men. If I expect if I got in a real emergency, I'd get more votes in your place than i do some other places anyways. <laughs> Go ahead. What you got on your mind? You got a lot in 64. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in your, if the country was involved and the flag was going down, I imagine I could holler fire on the Republican side and get more help than I could sometimes out of Rosenthal and no some of my own boys. Go ahead now. What do you got on the right? 